One time in six hour, I said, man, I'm tired. A kid looked at me and said, teachers always say they're tired. Yup, grading 160 papers within a week is tiring. Composing and giving an original 20 minute long memorized speech in front of 30 people six times a day, every day, 180 days out of the year is very tiring. Especially when your speech is competing with iPhones, laptops, and Minecraft. It's tiring when parents tell you how to do your job. Or having to hold your bladder for an hour is tiring. Stopping bullying is tiring. So is feeling like you have to bring your best energy to work every single day. Or feeling like politicians think you're a waste of resources. And the media thinks you're a glorified babysitter. Cleaning up finger paint, glitter, and vomit is tiring. Teaching discipline to 12-year-old boys is tiring. Parent-teacher conferences are tiring. It's tiring seeing kids come to your class hungry and tired themselves. Reporting abuse is tiring. Teaching grammar to a generation of texters and tweeters is tiring. So is prepping kids for tests that will decide their future. Renewing your license every few years so you can keep your job is tiring. The month of May is tiring. So is being trusted to help shape the future of hundreds of young people. Chaperoning dances, coaching soccer, professional development, writing lesson plans, 20 minute lunches, standing up all day, being stern, being goofy, being a teacher is tiring. But when a student shows you their first college acceptance letter, or reads for the first time, or realizes the immense power of their words, or stands up to a bully in the hallway, or sits with the lonely kid at lunch, or geeks out about the ending of a novel, or bursts through the door of your classroom one morning to tell you that they finally know what they want to do with their life, or can finally solve this equation, or starts believing in themselves for the very first time right before your eyes, or returns to your class years later to thank you. Being tired is worth it.